Eric Mwade with a continuation video on this series about the RSI warm-up or what we call the foreplay. So we're going to be taking at some weekly and monthly charts this time on the downside so we can see how we can use that warm-up in the RSI on the weekly and monthly time frame. So let's go to the examples quickly here. We go by taking a look at FST, just a random stock. I want to show you here that there was a warm-up session sometime here in 2013 and subsequently the stock would recover but after this warm-up it would come back and touch 30.90 now remember on the way down the level to watch is 30.9 and of course on the way up it is 69.1 of course if you add these numbers you get a hundred okay now I have lots of explanations on why those two numbers are important but since this is a series I am assuming by now you've seen my reasoning as to why we use those two numbers so using the warm-up idea you can see there was another warm-up here that touched 30.90 the stock at the time was trading here in the three dollar fifty area and subsequently once it went back below 30.90 is when you got this drop now there was a recovery back above 30.90 but ultimately all this is a warm-up session too if you see a stock doing that you gotta be very careful because if it comes back below 30.90 what you're gonna see is exactly what we see here which is a big drop so every time you see a stock come to 30.90 recover and come back to 30.90 expect another move to fresh lows so this is the weekly view let's take a look at a monthly view on this monthly view you see the same thing there was a warm-up session to 30.9 sometime in 2012 and this is a three-year monthly chart you'd come back and touch the level below 30.90 and in that time you made fresh lows you recovered back above 30.90 but the problem is you came back below 30.90 which is the reason for this drop and also this drop because there was at least one month above 30.90 and then a move back below 30.90 so every time you get this warm up to 30.90, a fresh move to 30.90, you, all you see in the price is fresh lows. And if you want to avoid stocks that are making fresh lows, you have to be aware of where the RSI is trading on the weekly and the monthly charts. So let's go to another example, which is another random stock, Aeropostol, A-R-O. We see a warm up session sometime in 2013, summer. The stock subsequently recovers but comes back to tag 30.90 again what you see is fresh lows so if you want to avoid a stock that is going to do that you have to be aware that if it has already seen a warm-up session at 30.90 any subsequent move back to this level pushes the stock lower and it held pretty much all this was below 30.90 and which could be accounting for the big drop there now you even see that it recovered back above 30.90 and almost came back to 30.90 but even though it did not touch 30.90 guess what that was good enough for the price to see fresh lows so whenever you see a stock trading close to 30.90 on the weekly and the monthly you have to be careful because that is a sign of a weak stock any stock trading close to 30.90 on the weekly and the monthly tends to more than not slip back to that bearish territory we take a look at the same stock here here there was a very close move to 30.90 which is this big drop and a recovery but we can use this as the actual warm-up session here at 30.90 and the stock has pretty much stayed in that general area here and that is the reason 
I can say from a technical standpoint, the stock been trading from $4 all the way to the current $3 and change. So just be aware that stocks that trade with their RSI in this 30.90 area tend to be very bearish and can easily slip to fresh lows. Let's take a look at another example. Take a look at CNCO. Warm up session here. Stock was trading at about 1350. We had another move back below 30.90. So this was what your warm up session and your warning sign that the stock could easily become bearish. So as it comes back and tags below 30.90, you get these fresh lows. Again, it moves back below 30.90 here, which is this level and guess where the direction of the prices go fresh lows so you have to be careful that stocks trading generally here are going to be bearish let's go to the monthly and you can see that the monthly during this drop it was a warm-up session here that did not recover above 30.90 so you're talking about this move here the stock staying generally in this 30.90 area and it does not recover prices until it moves back above 30.90 so it's only the subsequent move above 30.90 that brings the stock from eight dollars to about eleven dollars but you can see here it's come back almost back to fresh lows because the rsi is now trading back below 30.90 so if you're looking for a stock to short this is where you want to go shopping because this is where stocks generally get in trouble because the RSI is a measure of sentiment and if sentiment is below 30.90 the sentiment is saying that the stock is bearish not your opinion not anybody's opinion it's just what the stock is saying that I am bearish I'm trading below and around 30.90 I can easily slip into fresh lows let's take a look at another idea and this time we're taking a look at NUGT so two times bull the GDX or the mining space there was a warm-up session here stock was trading at about let's call it 250 260 somewhere in that range and did not recover back above 30.90 so this was your warm-up sign and a warning signal and you can see even the fact that it stayed here was good enough or bearish enough to take the stock from 250 all the way to just around $50 that's a big drop 250 to 50 dollars big drop and also it continued being bearish as it came back to 30.90 30.90 here the stock would go on to trade in the 20s and even lately it's moved back below 30.90 bringing the stock trading here in the 11 10 dollar area so you have to avoid stocks that are trading close to 30.90 they easily make fresh lows go to the monthly the warm-up session was here with the stock trading about 450 on the monthly so this move close to 30.90 that held and then came up by the time it makes fresh lows so you make a fresh low and you also move below 30.90 we are talking about this major sell-offs and major sell signal there the stock would go on from 200 to the current price and it's generally stayed in this area this is a very bearish looking chart so we're talking about from 450 warm up and a warning signal finally came back below 30.90 and all that was at already at fresh lows and the RSI has stayed below 30.90 around 30.90 since then and stock has seen or the ETF has seen prices from 100 all the way to $10 let's take a look at one more and here is ERY 
you can see that it had a warm-up session sometime here in um, early 2013 price there was at about 30 33 dollars subsequently after this warm-up and another warm-up close to 30.90 already the stock was at fresh lows there another warm-up session fresh lows finally it moves back below 30.90 here which was this fresh lows move it comes back and recovers but again back below 30.90 here price there was at about 18 19 17 dollars and it stayed in that bearish territory below 30.90 all the way from 17 dollars and it stayed below 30.90 until it was trading here in the 12 dollar 10 dollar area so you want to avoid stocks that, that are trading around that level also take a look at the monthly and you can see here that there was a warm-up session going back many years in fact let's take a look at a longer term view let's go back about six years and what we see here is this is interesting the stock was an IPO and once the RSI had enough data to be generated the stock was trading here in the 400s and take a look at this it has stayed below and around 30.90 since then which might account for why the stock moved from 300 400 dollars all the way to as low as 12 11 dollars because the RSI stayed below this area so once you see a warm-up session which is a warning signal and it moves back below 30.90 you have to be aware this is where stocks get in trouble Eric Moir, the good luck, peace and blessings. Woo!